Today's episode of The Dettersons is brought to you by Legends Sports Bar and Grill in McChesney Park, Illinois. Looks like we have work to do, baby bones. <laughs> and that's cut. After a long day on the set of The Dettersons, I need time to unwind and relax with good food, good drinks, and good people. That's why you can find me at Legends Sports Bar and Grill in McChesney Park. Family owned and operated for 25 years, it's a great place to gather with friends and family for a good time and great sports. With 60 set wings during any Chicago game and all day on Sunday, the NFL ticket, Friday night fish fry, and the best burgers in town, you just can't go wrong. Mmm. They even serve breakfast every day until noon. Legends is open daily from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. With fun entertainment, awesome drink specials, delicious food, and a friendly atmosphere, why go anywhere else? Really, why go anywhere else? Come see us at Legend Sports Bar and Grill, 618 Superior Avenue in Mchesney Park. We can't wait to welcome you to our family. it's morning and that's what people do in the morning besides you used to drink coffee too you know way back in the day when you were my age i don't know what you're complaining about first of all i'm not that much older than you so you shut your lying little mouth (laughs) second of all coffee hasn't tasted like actual coffee since the apocalypse and third of all bloody marys are the best way to start the day. <laughs> Whatever, Franny. Me, <laughs> You're so judgmental. Okay? Just gotta get that out there. I can drink whatever I want to. It's been a decade since the actual apocalypse happened. If I could serve that, survive that, then I could survive a little bit of vodka. You're starting to sound like my mother-in-law. It's almost just like... Oh my god. But... <laughs> can you believe this? No! <laughs> As I don't know what this is, you gotta give me a little bit more to Toby's work Toby's on the list! You don't mean the list. Yes, the list! The only list that matters these days! The list of the missing and presumed dead. You know, this used to be called the obituary. Now everything just has to sound really scary. Focus, Franny! We need to call his parents. We need to tell him that we saw him less than a week ago, or you did anyway. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking to anybody's parents, okay? Look, this right here is the reason why I never leave the apartment, okay? Because then I get involved. I'll talk Please. to them. Yeah. Hello, operator? Yes, I need to reach the Ashtons and Bloody Hills. No, no, I don't know the exact address. Yes, I will, I will wait as long as it takes, thank you. Hello? Cliff? Jenny? Holy smokes. Jenny Justice. Hey, girl. What have you been up to? You know, besides running away and giving your dad a reason to go all renegade justice against an innocent town. He's got a point. Why don't you just go back to drinking quietly? That's a good idea. Cliff, just let me talk to Mr. and Mrs. Ashton. They aren't here. Car's gone. Oh, I know. They probably went out looking for their son. He was dumb and went chasing after his selfish ex-girlfriend. Cliff, can you just 
Doc? I don't know. We'll see. Why are you calling anyway, Jenny? Did Ash finally find you? So you haven't seen the paper then? Jenny, I'm an orphan in a town full of the infected. And you woke me up at one o'clock in the afternoon. Do I seem like somebody who'd be concerned with what's going on in the world? Same old clip. Yeah, somebody's got to be reliable. So what's in this newspaper that's got you surfacing anyway? Is Apocalypse 2.0 coming? I say bring it on. No, I, I saw that Toby's name is on the, the list. Yeah, I know. I was with his parents when they filed the missing persons report. You know, he hasn't called to check in with anyone in over a week. We saw him. Four days ago. Oh, good. He's with you then. No, not really. Actually, we saw him. He didn't see us. I didn't want to be found, okay? I still don't. You're just the worst. Save your judgment. I never cared about your opinion. I just wanted to let his parents know that- Know what? That the girl their son went to find purposely avoided him? And now that he's not been seen or heard from, she suddenly wants to be helpful? Cliff, I'm worried about Toby too. No, you aren't. You aren't worried about anybody but yourself. I'll give the Ashtons your message. But you should find a way to actually be helpful. Either find Ash or stop your lunatic of a father. <laughs> Jeez, Ash, you big dummy. What have you gotten yourself into this time? No, 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 no. I know that look on your face. Ideas are brewing. <laughs> scaring me. Oh, I have an idea, all right. Might not help Toby, but it will sure stick it to my father. With minimal effort, too. Are you in? Sticking it to my former employer with minimal effort? Why, yes! Let's do that! That's my second kind of favorite effort! After <laughs> no effort. Well, come on, let's go shopping. Hopefully someplace around here has what we're looking for. <laughs> oh. See, I told you the door wasn't locked. Yeah, real busy. <laughs> Really, guys? Right in a student counselor's office? It's like you want to get caught. I mean, it is a Sunday, and nobody's supposed to be here. Uh, guys, we have more important things to worry about. Uh, what is that? We don't know. We found it out in the woods. We were hoping Professor Morg would be able to figure it out. Well, I mean, he should be in his lab. He's always down there doing his experiments, and it is kind of state-of-the-art. He's got some of the best technology that he's always updating. I honestly think that's why he took this job. Well, hopefully he's as smart as he's made us all think he is. <laughs> what are you doing, Professor Morg? Something a solid B student like yourself could never understand, Mr. Lurcher. <laughs> wow. Well, and Mr. Ghostman. C-minus student, even better, and you three girls are <laughs> freshmen? Whatever you want, I don't have time for it. I'm working on something that could change the world. I think you'll want to make time for this. What is this? Well, if we knew, we wouldn't be having such a pleasant conversation with you, Professor. <laughs> we were hoping you would tell us. We found it in the woods. What's that? <laughs> Touch nothing. Is it? Ticking? We thought so. That's why we didn't want to leave it. But it looks more complicated than a homemade bomb. Seen very many homemade bombs, have we, Mr. Ghostman? You're correct in any case. This is far from simple. What is it? You. I do know you. Your family owns the medical center where Dr. Gooley works, correct? Yes, the Deverson's funeral home. I'm Dealey. Who you are is of no importance. I need to get a second opinion on this. Dr. Gooley made the heart pumps. He may know. Know what, Professor? This is an electromagnetic bomb. Not to worry, anybody. Wait, it's a what? And what happens when it explodes? It'll set off a wave that'll disrupt anything electrical. 
replacing all of our heart pumps. Very good, Miss Dederson. I certainly hope you'll be joining my class in a few years. If that's if we're even alive by then. So what you're saying is, if this thing goes off, all of our heart pumps are going to fail. If it is what I think it is, which is why I'd like to get the second opinion, I'd like to get this taken care of before we all drop dead. Well, what should we do? My advice? Take a nice little vacation. Somewhere about 50 miles ought to do it. I just love sneaking away from Riverside to visit Culture Shock. Clothing, gifts, and records. It's a one-stop shop for everything fun. Conveniently located on Charles Street in Rockford, someplace far from where you're supposed to be. So, sneaking back into Bloody Hills trying to find my sister? <laughs> I'm just trying to find some unique clothing to spice up my post-apocalyptic wardrobe. Great! Now there's going to be living everywhere I go and they're going to be dressing like me. Relax, boys. Culture Shock is community-focused. We have a large variety of styles for everyone. Men, women, children of all ages, whether they be zombies or living humans. In fact, Culture Shock specializes in clothing that inspires individual style and personality. We also offer locally made items, funky novelties and gifts, fashionable accessories, and even home goods. We have it all here, including a diverse selection of new and used vinyl records for music lovers to dig through. So come on down and check us out. We're open seven days a week and we would love to see you, living or zombies. Located two blocks west of Stockholm Inn on Charles Street in Rockford. Culture Shop. Shop local, be original. Dennis, did you realize that you're sitting next to Smelly Shelly? Shut up, Glenn. I'm not in the mood for you today, or any day, really. Why do you both look like someone ran over your puppies? Well, Emily was just here, and she told us, she said... Come on, Lassie, speak. What is it? Is Emily down the well? She said that her family was moving. Her dad found a better job in another infected town somewhere else. Woohoo! Well, that's good town. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, guys. When did she leave, anyway? She already left. She didn't know how to tell us, so she waited until the last minute. Worst goodbye ever. Now who am I going to hang out with when I want an intelligent conversation? You still have us. I said intelligent. <laughs> Come on, man. You and Emily weren't even dating anymore. What's there to be sad about? I was kind of hoping that someday her and I could be more than friends again. <sighs> Today sucks. Hey, there's plenty of other fish in the sea, right? Yeah, let's go fishing. Fish are way better than girls. Let me not to hang out with you until you grow up. <laughs> what the You guys are boring. I'm gonna go find Ernie. You guys don't have to sit with me. I'm pretty sure the two of you have more important things to do. Not really. Besides, I'm dying for a brain burger. If I ever get the chance to order, they need to hire more people. Just don't tell my parents that. They've been on me all year trying to line me up for a summer job. Summer is like... Forever from now. Yes. <laughs> what I meant was, I want to be alone. Without either of you here. Well, that's rude. Dennis, we're freshmen in high school. There will be plenty of other girls to break your heart. Can't waste all your good moping now. You're too young to even reach your emo phase. Goodbye, guys. I'll talk to you later. Fine, fine. Enjoy the dark side. Call us when you're done being lame. <laughs> I'd hate for these to go to waste. <laughs> There's no girl as good as anyone out there. Aww. So you're saying it's a bomb? An electromagnetic bomb. Yes. One that's capable of taking out every heart pump within at least a 50 mile radius. And you brought it here because... Because your daughter and her friends brought it to me. Now, I'm smart enough to recognize what this device is. 
But I'm not dumb enough to try to disable it. I think I may be able to disable it. Well, now is the time for certainty, Amy. Well, I'm certain if someone doesn't do something, we're all screwed. What are you even doing here? We called for the mayor, which you've never actually been. I called her. I wanted to make sure someone was here to be in charge. Frank, that's you now. You are the one in charge. Yeah, that's why I brought Beatrice. <laughs> Can't someone just drive it out of town far enough to not be any harm? Well, it would be a suicide mission. Unless we could find somebody without a heart pump. Even then it would never work. The closest place far enough from any infected town would still be over two hours away. And the bomb is set to go off way before then. Exactly. We could get it away from Bloody Hills, but we'd just be dooming some other infected town. Well, does anyone else have any ideas? I really think I may be able to disarm this thing. I just need some time to take it apart a bit, get to the right wires. And if you're wrong? Boom. Are there any other options? Not really. The Bloody Hills PD is barely operational as is. They definitely don't have a bomb squad. And it would take far too long for anyone in authority to get here to help. That thing's set to go off in a little over an hour according to the countdown clock. Then everyone give me space. Let me do my thing. Whatever my thing happens to be. Success. We need your thing to be success. Should I be doing something? I feel like I should be doing something. Maybe calling someone? <sighs> Come on, Frank, let's go back to the mayor's office. I'll go over the town's safety protocols with you. Although I'm fairly certain there's nothing specifically for this situation. We're going back to the office then? Oh, good. Um, do you still have your keys? I accidentally locked mine in my desk drawer. <laughs> it's as bad as Bernie. I don't know how you got elected. Come on, Frank. Well, Frank may not know who to call. But I want to call my family. Me too. Get George to round up Glenn. They're not going to be any safer at home, but at least they'll be together. There. I think that should do it. Did you get it all? Mm-hmm. I may be drunk, but I know how to press a, ca point a camera and press record. So I was completely in focus, right? Yeah, sure. Franny, I need to be sure it's really me on the tape. I told you, it's in focus. You know, back in my day, we had these things called mobile cell phones, where you could just use the camera function on it to record a video and then send it to whoever you wanted to. Well, after the apocalypse, we have this, and it'll have to do. So who are you sending it to? I know the perfect person, and from what I managed to get Cliff to tell me, she's already in Bloody Hills. Hey, watch the for camera! You call for a package pickup? Yes. This needs to get to Madame Gilda at the Graveyard Inn in Bloody Hills, today if possible. Yeah, I should be able to get it there today. Would a big tip help you get it there sooner? Ma'am, we aren't allowed to accept tips. Yeah, I should be able to get it there before dinner. Thank you. <laughs> so you're all packed up? Yeah, my bags are in my room. Good. Grab them and let's go disappear. For good this time. <laughs> it's so hard to find a good eyeball pie. But here at Kate's Pie Shop, they offer custom-made pies. And if you can't wait to dig in, then call by noon for the same-day pickup. And if your tastes aren't quite as disgusting, Kate's Pie Shop also serves the uninfected. Caramel apple nut pie is my favorite. But it's more than just a pie shop. That's right, and they also have an awesome vinyl vintage record collection to go along with their awesome 50s decor. We also have a great sandwich menu and can cater your wedding and special event. We're proud to offer sandwiches, pie, and music in our record store cafe. So come see us, give us a call, like us on Facebook, and keep up with all our special events and flavors of the month. That's right, <laughs> folks. We don't care if you're living or dead. Just come on down to Kate's Pie Shop and Record Store.
Powers told me this wasn't a trap. But it was still nice not to be arrested at the city gate. Come on in, Gilda. We need to talk. What, no snide remarks? My, my, Roger, this is serious. You and I go way back. Yes, I know. Seems you've forgotten that, though. We went to grade school together. I was at your wedding. Then the apocalypse came, and we both had to deal with our separate tragedies. But you, you came out a whole different person. One with intent on ridiculing and discrediting me. I wanted to give people something more to believe in than tarot cards and crystal balls. It's a... I wanted to give them some hope, some possibilities, something stronger, something they can live on. I wanted to give them the idea that they could survive. You gave them a fascist regime! That's a bit of an overstatement, don't you think? Perhaps. But only a little bit. Roger, why did you call me? I did something that, uh, if it goes as planned, I'm going to regret. And, uh, as you know, I'm not a person that, uh, admits to his mistakes very often. And I'm definitely not a person who asks for help. And, uh, Gilda, I, uh, I really... It's okay. Roger, I'll help. Just tell me everything. <laughs> You know, you didn't have to come with me to find my brothers. You could have just gone home to spend time with your family like the others did. I live at the frat house, remember? Besides, I'd rather spend my last possible moments on Earth with you. That's very sweet. And also very terrifying to think about. Look, Professor Morg and Dr. Gooley are doing everything they can to stop the bomb. Besides, isn't that a really smart doctor from the JCU working at your dad's shop? Yeah. All the best minds in town are working to stop the bomb. Should be nothing to worry about. Hopefully. Excuse me, um, frat boy standing with Delia? Me? Adam? We've literally met every time you come to see Johnny. Yeah, no one cares. Did you say something about a bomb? It was nothing. <laughs> Professor Morg told us not to talk about it. He didn't want to start an unnecessary panic. Whoa, you're in Morg's class? Doesn't he teach level 400 classes and higher? She's not in his class, dummy. We were in the same science AP classes in high school. If she were smart enough to take Morse class as a freshman, I'd be there too. Listen, we can't tell you what's going on, but Mayor Stein is probably going to make a statement soon. Why don't you both go home and just spend time with your families? No can do, Delia. We're both virtually orphans. My parents are still out of town and hers are out of state. Yeah, and took my annoying little sister with them. I decided to stay here and complete my education. And I couldn't leave my job. Wait, your sister's Emily, right? <sighs> Dennis must be heartbroken. Whatever. He and Emily are like 10. They'll get over it. They're 14. Whatever. Again, I have more important things to worry about. Hey, yeah, but that movie you're supposed to go to. It's starting soon. You better get going, because I do not want to miss the previews. This is like the sixth time we're going to see that stupid movie. Your obsession with Hollywood is getting ridiculous. Yeah, whatever. You won't say that when you're my date to the Oscars. Oh? Are you planning on getting a job as a seat filler for when Ryan Grossman needs to use the bathroom? Whatever. Hey, Adam, see you later back in the frat house. The brothers and I are really going to have to discuss new standards for our pledges. Johnny's nice and all, but... <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, Johnny. Oh, hey. Hello. I'm Donnie, Delia's older, stronger brother. I know where to hide all the bodies in our father's funeral home. <laughs> and you are. Dude, you guys played at our frat party. <laughs> Uh-oh. Your baby sister's got a new gentleman caller. They grew up so fast. Hey, you don't happen to need a new hookup for bone dust, do you? Shut up, Warren. Now isn't the time. There's something serious going on. What? More serious than our shameless self-promotion? We've been having to have players all bumped, it feels like. I'm so tired of it. Please do it for me. I'll owe you forever. You still owe me forever from when I did your 8th grade science fair project? Oh, oh yeah. Only A I ever got in science. Totally worth it. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Life or death situation? Right. We found a bomb out in the woods. You found a what? 
a pump, an electromagnetic one that could wipe out every heart pump within at least a 50 mile radius. Took it to Professor Moore, but he took it to your dad's office. He's hoping Dr. Gooley and Dr. Creepers can figure out what to do. I called mom from school and she told me to find you and Dennis and get home. Uh, Dennis should already be home. He was here earlier being all mopey, saying something about going home to, quote, wait in agony alone for death to finally take him. Oh. That girl he liked moved away. Poor kid. Oh, yeah. I, too, know the heartbreak a woman can bring. Oh, oh my God! No, I am not spending the last few minutes on this world listening to you lament about Sally. I'm going to go home and smoke in blissful silence. If there's a tomorrow, I'll see you then. <laughs> Tell Mom I'll be home soon. I just got to stop by the dorms and see Sally. Donnie! Delia, I have to. There's, there's so much I have to say, and... If this is my last day on Earth, I don't want there to be any regrets. If you say so. See you at home? I promise. Come on, let's get you home. Welcome back, Melvin Brennan. How may I help you? Can you please get the operator to connect me to either Dr. Gooley or Dr. Creepers at the Detterson's funeral home? It is urgent. Hope you're not well. No, I'm just losing the last bit of my sanity. Maybe this will help. One second. I came a little while ago. Here, let me connect your call. I'm sorry, Madam Gillow, but it doesn't seem I can connect your call. All the lines are busy. It's causing a bit of a frenzy. Oh, good. You're aware of the danger. Excuse me. Um, never mind. Uh, do you have something I can play this on? Here, one moment, please. What are you doing here? Delia and Dennis are at home. Donnie should be on his way there. I came to get you. You and Norman should both be home with your families right now. Yeah, I think she's right. We're not much good help here. I'll say. You breathing down our necks while we work. Can everyone just be quiet? We have maybe five minutes to get this thing figured out. What's going on out there? Has Frank made a statement yet? Yes. He went straight to the radio station to make an announcement. <laughs> of course, Beatrice did most of the talking. They reassured everyone that Dr. Creepers and Professor Morg were working on the issue, but everyone's panicked. The roads are a mess. Everyone trying to get out of town or... And those who are staying put are terrified. Maybe I should call home again. The, the lines are all busy. I tried to call for ten minutes before I gave up and just walked over here. Hey! I think we've got it. Really? 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 The countdown clock stopped. This has that annoying ticking. And I think if we cut this wire right here, I could disable the bomb altogether. Well... What do you think? You're the genius that made the heart pumps that this thing destroys. I would really like a second opinion before deciding the fate of an entire town. I agree. I think if she cuts that ground wire, it'll terminate the circuitry for the whole device. Okay then. Is that it? Is it over? If this is the only bomb in town, it's over as far as immediate danger is concerned. We still haven't figured out who put this bomb here and why. Probably that Mayor Justice from Riverside. I'll bet you he is intent on getting rid of us. So, can I take this? There's some components that would be beneficial to an upcoming experiment I've been dying to do. Um, uh, you'll have to ask the authorities. They'll probably want to take it for evidence. Damn. Another case of government intervention in science. No, it isn't. Trust me. I work closely enough with the government, I could tell you true stories that would blow your little conspiracy theories out of the water. Really? How's this for a conspiracy? Property of the JCU. What? Well, but... Why would the JCU build bombs that would specifically hurt the infected? I believe I can answer that. There's something you should see. 